Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hi, and welcome back to the Genesis podcast. This episode is going to be Genesis chapter 26, and this is where we have the covenant that Abraham received renewed with Isaac, and it also shows how uh, Esau um, was not worthy of the birthright. So we'll see that at the end of this chapter. Verse 1, there was a famine in the land. Seems like there's a lot of famines in this country. In the, beside the first famine that was in the days of Abraham, and Isaac went unto Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. So Abimelech was king during Abraham too. It's probable that Abimelech is a title. It means son of the king. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down into Egypt, dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with thee, and will bless thee, for unto thee and unto thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform the oath which I swear unto Abraham thy father. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. So here you can see that he's renewing the covenant that he made with Abraham. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice, in other words, Abraham passed the, passed the test of mortality, and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. And Isaac dwelt in Gerar, and the men of the place asked him of or concerning his wife, and he said, She is my sister. Now, this was a truthful comment in the sense that they were relatives, um, but she was actually his cousin. Um, but um, in ancient times, uh, close relatives like this, you could call them brothers and sisters. For he feared to say, she is my wife, lest the men of the place should kill me for to get Rebecca because she was fair to look upon. Remember that this happened to Abraham and Sarah when they were in Egypt. And, and uh, it was the custom of the time that uh, it was okay to kill the husband and take the wife as their own, but uh, to kill the to brother to kill the brother was not a good thing. So go figure. Verse eight, and it came to pass when he had been there a long time that Abimelech, king of the Philistines, looked out at a window and saw, and behold, Isaac was sporting with Rebekah, his wife. So that's kind of a normal thing for a husband and wife to do. And Abimelech called Isaac and said, Behold, of a surety, she is thy wife, and how saidst thou, she is my sister? And Isaac said unto him, I said it because I feared lest I die for her. And Abimelech said, What is this thou hast done unto us? One of the people might lightly have lain with her, with thy wife, and thou shouldst have brought guiltiness upon us. And Abimelech charged all his people, saying, He that toucheth this man or his wife shall surely be put to death. So this was a God-fearing person, wasn't it? Not a heathen that, that Abraham or that Isaac was thinking. Then Isaac sowed in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold. Uh, and the man continually increased in wealth until he was very wealthy. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great. For he had possession of flocks and possession of herds and great store of servants. And the Philistines envied him. For all the wells which his father's servants had dug in the days of Abraham, his father, the Philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. And Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar and dwelt there. And Isaac digged again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them after the death of Abraham, and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servants digged in the valley and found there a well of springing water. And the herdmen of Gerar did strive with Isaac's herdmen, saying, The water is ours. And he called the name of the, of the well Essek, which means strife, because they strove with him. And they digged another well and strove for that also, and he called the name of it Sitna, which means opposition. And he removed from thence and digged another well, and for that they strove not, and he called the name of it Rehoboth, which means broad open places. And he said, For now the Lord hath made room for us, and, he, and we shall be fruitful in the land. And he went up from thence to Beersheba, and the Lord appeared unto him the same night, and said, I am the God of Abraham thy father, fear not, for I am, the, I am with thee, and will bless thee, and multiply thy seed for my servant Abraham's sake. And he builded an altar there, and called upon the name of the Lord, and pitched his tent there, and there Isaac's servants digged a well. Then Abimelech went to him from Gerar, and Ahuzas, 
Ahuzath, one of his friends, and Pichol, the chief captain of his army, and Isaac said unto them, Wherefore come ye to me, seeing ye hate me, and have sent me away from you? And they said, We certainly, we saw certainly that the Lord was with thee, and we said, Let there be now an oath betwixt us, even betwixt us and thee, and let us make a covenant with thee, that thou wilt do us no harm, as we have not touched thee, and as we have done unto thee nothing but good, and have sent thee away in peace. Thou art now the blessed of the Lord. And he made them a feast, and they did eat and drink, and they rose up early, up betimes in the morning, and, and swear one to another, and Isaac sent them away, and they departed from him in peace. And it came to pass the same day that Isaac's servants came and told him concerning the well which they had digged, and said unto him, We have found water. And he called it Sheba, therefore the name of the city Beersheba, well of an oath, unto this day. And Esau was forty years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Beeri the Hittite, uh, and Bashamoth, the daughter of Elon the Hittite. Esau is again showing his contempt for his birthright by marrying someone who would not raise children in righteousness. He's therefore marrying outside the covenant. Uh, verse 35, which were a grief or bitterness of spirit, meaning great sorrow or grief of mind unto Isaac and to Rebekah. Faithful church members often have children who stray from the gospel and cause grief to their parents. And here we see uh, Isaac and Rebecca are experiencing the same thing where Esau marries outside of the covenant, outside the church. I bear testimony of the truth of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. See you next time.